Let's talk about aliens and religion. Whether or not aliens are real, and if they are real, how would that affect religion? Right? Because in most of our Bibles, in most scriptures, no matter what country it's in, it's about the human race. Everything revolves around the human race and the earth. It has nothing to do with extraterrestrials in that sense. So if aliens were real, and there was life in outer space, which we'll get into that later, it would totally disregard everything that any kind of religion would ever say, and it would cause a kind of um, mental disruption in our typical way of thinking, in the way we view the, the world and ourselves, right? Because most people don't see themselves as an animal. A human being is an animal, right? We, we don't recognize that we're just mammals. We separate ourselves from the rest of the animal kingdom. So, really, if an alien were to come down here and watch you ride a bicycle, they would see a monkey, a mammal, riding a bicycle. And it would be just as odd, just as alien to them, as it would be if you went to the zoo and saw a monkey, a chimp, riding a bicycle. Or some kind of other zoo animal, right? You'd be like, wow, that looks odd. Or if you went to another planet and um, just witnessed a different kind of species riding some other kind of machine. That would look really alien, right? So we forget that we are alien in our own sense. In that own way, we are alien. So The Bible doesn't imply that, though, is my point. It... It implies we have a purpose on earth, we're going to be judged, and then, you know, the rest of the universe, in a sense, is kind of just there for this game that we're playing here on earth, in a way, if you really think about it. It discards, it discards the rest of the universe and all the life that could be possible. I mean, how, how crappy would that be if the rest of the life in the universe didn't have to play this heaven and hell game, and we did, the human species, you know what I'm saying? So... But let's also talk about how if aliens were real, which we'll talk about whether I think they really are or not by the time we get to the end of this, but let's talk about how it would affect the human mind and deeply religious people or just even some people that are agnostic or atheists but totally disregard the alien possibility. Let's put it into perspective. Imagine all of your life you were born deeply religious in some kind of religious faith. And you were always told that there was um, some kind of sky daddy, a god in that sense above you, right? That was in control of everything. And that um, the human species was pretty much the only thing relevant in the universe, right? Like everything pretty much revolved around us in that sense that... The rest of the animals in the animal kingdom aren't even being judged in this good and evil game, right? It's just a human species. Nor is the rest of the universe. So, literally everything is revolving around us. Whenever you take religion literally. Not that religion, I'll say that now, not that religion can't be progressive. If it's metaphorical, right? But when you take it literal, that's when it becomes damaging. So, not just to... um Shit on religion totally in this, okay? Just to put it into, per into perspective, right? And not to um, say that if you were deeply religious, that's even necessarily a negative thing. I'm just saying, imagine if you were deeply religious and you deeply believe these things, right? And then aliens were to come down or they had some kind of proof that there was a legit UFO... And it's not just some kind of false flag, which that'll be for another video. They were to come out with some kind of evidence and prove to you that there was another superior species. Another superior alien life form out there, right? That would just totally jack up the whole story. Like... It would shock you that there's some other kind of godlike figures that imagine they come down, you're blind, they fix your vision. 
they start giving you the secrets of the universe. And that might even make some people think that's the, you know, yeah, let's go into that. Some people might even try to say aliens are the devil in disguise in that way. And that would just be a whole nother controversial subject, wouldn't it? So even it could even go in that direction. Aside from just the complete shock of there being something totally outside of what religion says is supposed to be there. You could just have a million different avenues of this. It could be the devil. Or it could be demons coming down, right? Just to convince you one last time. There could be so many excuses, so many outs. Um... Even that alone would just cause so much chaos, right? Because some people that were just halfway on the fence, somewhat believing being good just to be good, what do you think is going to happen when they recognize that's not real? And this isn't to say it's going to be the purge and everybody's just going to start raging against each other, but for sure we can have that conversation as well, right? The possibilities of there being proof of some sort of alien life causing just chaos and revolt. People trying to express this kind of inner rage or um, animalistic side of themselves that they've been wanting to. Almost using this as an excuse in a way. Right? So, and who knows, this could also be a very positive event where, you know, we could go on the positive side of it as well. This could be a positive event where it brings us all together. Okay, let's go into that dimension of it, like uh, when a 9-11 happens, right? And some kind of disaster takes over. Um, it kind of makes us come together, so who knows? Like on some of the alien movies, Independence Day. You know, the human species kind of comes together and works against this alien species. I guess it would also depend on whether or not this alien species is friendly or not. But let's just assume they're friendly. They're generally, you can tell that they're trying to help, right? Um, how would the human mind react, especially if you're deeply religious? And you, and you know what? Let's not even hold it to the deeply religious. Because it's not so much deeply religious that would also be affected by this. It would even be a shock to just your everyday average person that's pretty much open to... Whatever may come to the unknown in that way. How would that affect their mind? Because that's not to say they don't have these animalistic kind of desires or um, things they want to get out and use excuses for. You know, not to say religious people are that way. That's why I'm also saying that. So, And I refer a lot of this to a kind of violent aspect because sometimes shock intense situations put you into a kind of more so animalistic state, more in your shadow. I guess you could say that animal, animalistic side of yourself. It's where you might do something then afterwards regret or think, man, why did I ever do that? You know. Just think of the possibilities. How much fear would that cause in people um regarding life after death because now that's a whole nother avenue too now you have to dig into yourself and ask okay what's going to happen to me after death if this heaven and hell thing isn't real if my bible isn't necessarily real and theirs isn't necessarily real what happens to me after death that's another avenue because most people have this deep fear of what happens during death or after death or even the possibility that there is no such thing as death, right? Because then you have to face the fact that there is this illusion of self, which in recognizing that in itself is a kind of death, right? So religion very much so shelters facing this. And it's often easily broken, the device, right? Because say somebody you love dies, and if you haven't truly found this meditative peace, just a state of love yourself, which isn't a state, it's just your being, then you find out very quickly how much this device isn't holding up, right? Because now you're not so much with this presence of God, you feel ego, like this this sense of fear and lack, right? Like you may never see them again, or that you just, you just feel alone, right? Even though you know they're going to heaven, and from your own perspective, right? You tell yourself you know they're going to heaven, but 
at that same time, it kind of shows you just your uncertainty of that, right? And your, the uncertainty of yourself and how comfortable you are with death. Religion very much so shelters this feeling until something like death occurs or something intense and then you find out just how mentally stable you are, right? So, re religion itself shelters this kind of, like, facing this feeling and just this kind of self-work. So, imagine an alien species coming down in some kind of badass spaceship and just killing everybody and being extremely nice, no sign of demonicness, it's definitely not the devil. And you just have to accept that, um... Everything you were told is a lie. For everything that you may have believed isn't necessarily so. Which is the only... The only religion that survives this, and it's not a religion, it's not a philosophy, is the non-dual teaching, right? Or Buddhism, in a sense, too, because... Nowhere does it not imply that the um, universe doesn't have other species... You know, it doesn't say that it isn't infinite. It actually implies that it's infinite, that we're all equal. And this non-dual, this um, Buddhistic kind of approach would still touch everything and apply to everything. An alien species would just be proof of how awesome evolution really is within the whole, right? Which to some, they may already just have that view without being non-dual or Buddhist, like Buddhism, Buddhistic, whatever you want to call it. Um, they're open enough, they, they may already just be amazed by this, right? But at the end of the day, I'm just sure we can all agree, no matter what your religion, your race is, your culture, that it would be kind of a big wake-up call if we had some kind of certain proof that an alien species outside of our own planet did exist. That was especially far more intelligent than ourselves. Right? This would also make us question our own government in the sense of what kind of technologies do they have that we don't know about, right? That could just solve all kinds of issues, whether it's about electricity, health care, um, anything along those lines that are profitable, okay? Because let's not act like the government isn't about the money, so... Just think how big of a wake-up call that would be. There would just be an endless possibilities of what it could mean for our species in general. Right? What do you think our politicians would say about this? Your religious leaders would say about this? We would almost have to come together because if not, everyone would definitely revolt. And I don't think they would like that kind of chaos. I think just this last this last pandemic showed us how much... Even something like that was just terrible for them. So, you know, if a pandemic is just going to devastate them like that and show us their incompetence, just imagine some kind of alien invasion, whether it's peaceful or not. You know, I just don't know how they would handle that. The politicians and the um, priest, I guess in the comment section below, leave your thoughts on that. How do you think the politicians... And the priest would handle something like this. How would you handle something like this? Sometime soon I hope to do these podcasts, these little talks like this with um, somebody from the channel. You know, just as a guest. But leave in the comment section what you think a politician or a priest would say. What would be their excuse? And what would be your theory behind this? And when you want to say excuse like it's negative or just... Because I'm open to whatever, you know. But uh, what do you think they would say, and what would you what would you think? How would this change your life? Which I guess leads us to the next question: Do aliens exist? And if they do exist, have they ever came to our planet? Right? Because I probably fall into that third category where I'm certain they do exist. The odds are highly against there not being life forms out there, you know, scientifically speaking. But I'm not I'm not so certain. Of whether or not they have been to our planet. Right? I know there's alien species out there. There's all sorts of life forms. But I'm not going to be so quick to say they've, they're have they intelligent enough to get here yet. Or care to want to get here even. Right? Because things like the pyramids. We can talk about that for a second. That is pretty crazy. I have no idea how they did that. But we also can't rule out just how amazing 
the human species is, right? And if our history has been lied to us, it could have gone back way further than what we've been told. We could have been way more advanced than what we were ever told, and that would explain a lot. And they may they may even know of some of those technologies now, but don't tell us because if we knew they had it, then some of the stuff they profit of now, off of now, you know, they wouldn't profit off of it, right? So they can't really give us those tools or those technologies. They want to keep profiting in the way that they are, just in theory. So who's who's to say they have came here and that we were just weren't amazing in the past, right? And who's to say they haven't came here? So. From my perspective, for sure they exist. There's alien species out there, other life forms. But it is a pretty significant question whether or not they have came here or not. And if in the past that's just signs of how amazing we were, or if we were actually visited by some kind of intelligent life form, right? That could be also where some branches of religion come from, right? Kind of see this alien figure, a godlike figure, come from the sky, parts the clouds, and the spaceship, this chariot, whatever they want to call it, and gives them this kind of infinite wisdom, in a sense, you know. And who's to say in the scriptures and the translations, it just didn't get mixed up, and this whole time they weren't talking about aliens, and there wasn't really any kind of um, god in that sense. It was just... This higher species trying to convince you to be peaceful monkeys. You know. You could also go into it in that direction. But I guess the question for me is whether or not alien an alien species has visited our planet. And is our history proof of that or not? Um, I might actually do a whole entire video on that. But we'll just stick to the podcast for now. So, you know. From my perspective, they do exist. I just don't know in what shape or form. Because we also have to take into account that many people have said they've been abducted by aliens or that they've had some kind of intense dreams about this, right? About being abducted by aliens or seeing aliens in their dreams. Oftentimes, scientists will say that, you know, DMT being released in the brain, causing these intense alien um, kind of dreams. But, you know, who's to say that they're not really being abducted but it's all a mental kind of communication a kind of mental transaction so instead of traveling through light years of space you know they found a way through this one awareness in the whole right non-duality no okay um to travel through uh consciousness which we call time and space so i don't know i think it's a pretty interesting topic and you could go down a lot of paths with this right and you could really pick the mind apart with this because it would indeed be shattering to the human mind regardless of what your belief is your religion um it would just be a rude awakening i think because we have been very self-centered as a species um and usually when something chaotic something new something shocking happens we come together right but i don't know we'll see how much we come together if it kind of shatters specific belief systems that we've all fought for, you know, and defended for so long. And, um, I don't know, I guess in the comment section, just give me your thoughts. If you enjoy these podcast talks, definitely let me know. Um, but yeah, I think it would be kind of interesting if we were to find out aliens did exist in that way and have visited our planet. You know. And just what kind of um, effect that would have on religion and politics itself. Just the human psyche. 